2017 provides a set of block features such as create, edit, manage, insert, and explode block. Rigid block and flexible block are also supported. First, let's take a sample. Use slot tool to draw some sketch geometry. Then, make a sketch block according to your requirements. Select the entity and give it a block name. Repeat this operation to define other blocks. The second and third are drive rods. The last is linked rod. We define it as a flexible block. We can view all sketch blocks in the block manager. The flexible block is displayed in italic and the sketch blocks are listed in the History Manager. Modify the block attribute for a clear distinction between blocks. Check these blocks. You see they are separate from each other. Next, we should add constraints for them. Add constraints to the first block. Then add the concentric constraints for the adjacent blocks. Do it one by one. Now, if you drag the red drive rod, you will find the flexible block changes in real time. You can also change it by dragging the blue drive rod. A flexible block can be converted to a rigid block. You can do it in the block manager or the right hand menu. Double click to edit the block. Here, we change the slot length. After editing the block, the sketch is automatically updated. Let's continue to modify the linked rod length and another drive rod length. If you want to add another entity to the current block, pick the entity and assign it to the block. Then they will become one block. So far in the block manager, we can view four new rigid blocks. Then dragging the linked rod or drive rod, you will find the linked rod size does not change. Pick these four blocks. We can define a new second level block for them. Call it four bar linkage and define it as a flexible block. Next, create a new sketch in the same file, and then insert this new block. Add the basic constraints first. Then drag one rod. You can view the movement of this four bar linkage. Next, create a new sketch file. Then insert the linkage block. Do the same operations. You can see the difference. The flexible block from the external file becomes a rigid block. Then you can use the explode block tool. After that, the first level blocks can be moved. Another improvement is the customized ready sketch. The preparation work is creating the sketch block. Based on this last case, we can directly save the block to the ready sketch. Afterward, we can use the customized ready sketch. This is more efficient for sketch design. The third improvement is more visible interaction. When you draw or edit a sketch, you can show the dimensions of some features and blank some unneeded shapes. Editing the sketch dimension, the external dimension can be referenced. Press F7 to pick external dimensions.
Sketch Interaction is now much friendlier.